Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Andersil, of course, and welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. And oh my god, I am. Oh, I'm so addicted in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Minecraft is so much fun again. Minecraft has not been this much fun in a long, long time. Oh my god, guys. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna say oh my god anymore, uh, but, but shit, I mean, I have had so much fun, I had a ton of fun to be honest, uh, this this mod is just awesome, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking bullshit in a second, I just wanna get my, uh, my rest in here because I really need some more rubber, I'm kinda running low, I didn't think I would run low, but there's a lot of things that need a lot of wiring in them. Uh, to be made like circuits and stuff like that and not only like wire wire things together that I thought it would kind of consume so uh, There's been a lot of need for for rubber lately. Oh, that's only 14. I might need more more rubber trees actually Kind of a pain though since I kind of removed every single single like way to get saplings so I might be stuck with these trees until I get more saplings to be honest I made a huge boo-boo I made a huge a huge boo-boo <laughs> we're gonna remove that uh, but uh, we're gonna tackle the the problem with uh, insufficient power today because right now I've been running mostly on the water power I, I do still have a ton of power in my MFE I made this to charge up a mining laser I did yesterday but I died lost the mining laser this thing also blew up a ton of stuff for me and also I've removed my entire water thingy dingy because uh, I looked it up a bit more uh, Etho for example told me that I had not made it to specs uh, and I kind of want to have to fix it uh, to, to make it work good again I'm actually gonna pick up this coal right here kind of come retarded like mining coal in my own base but it works so who am I to complain who are you to complain it's it's free coal in, inside my base inside my this is the safety of my nice base here uh, but yeah we're gonna try to tackle the, the power problem as much as possible uh, I, uh, I was told by Etho and also by a lot of you guys in the comments that I did not have uh, the the water mill set up to get maximum power and of course I want to get maximum power out of them because otherwise I'm, I'm wasting power because I've made them and it takes a lot of power to make stuff as well so uh, I want to get the maximum power out of them so I'm gonna try to set up basically one of them again and uh, yeah I also made a solar panel that's actually one of the things that survived but I'm gonna show try to Try to advance here and get a little bit more power uh, so you guys can see how you do that. Of course, as usual, you're gonna need a shit ton of raw uh, resources. I mean, I've been mining again. That's actually how I died. I basically had all the, this much stuff on me when I died. Uh, of course, like, cut it in half since I used the macerator to, to double it, but you, you guys get my drift. Oh, I actually got quite a lot more coal. I might be able to make some industrial diamonds because diamonds I'm running low on. I only got one poor little diamond. So I've done, I made, oh, these bronze boots are awesome. They, they actually last really long and this is level one. Got feather falling and blast protection on it. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna stop these guys now uh, so they don't overheat and explode. I think, I don't know if this, I think this can overheat, but I don't think it, it does that very easily, to be honest. We're gonna pop in the last of the charcoal. Uh, also gonna see if we have some more charcoal somewhere else. And I'm gonna try to to make an... Ooh, my nemesis, the penis! Oh god, the creeper are, creepers are horrible on this server, mostly because it, I get so much lag. Like the server lags itself and oh there we go got some more steel awesome and also some coal that was unused but the creepers lag and they lag forward and basically get your ass all the time it is they're they're a huge pain in the ass they're a huge pain in the ass see i already got nine thousand there what am i cooking by the way oh yeah it's the rubber uh, what else no i got nothing in my centrifuge but basically we're gonna check uh, on how you make 
some more of the, the more advanced stuff, but first we're gonna kind of do something with the power here and try to get some solar panels working and also get to the more advanced stuff. I don't know if I can get to the advanced stuff in this episode, but I'm gonna try to cut this sh as short as possible with like the water stuff, just maybe yeah, trying to make it as good as possible now off camera and then just show me building one and then I build the third one off camera again uh, so I don't waste any time. I'm gonna try to get to the fun stuff like getting a bad pack and, and or like, yeah, not a bad pack, but a get pack and stuff like that. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, now I've... Oh, let's cut this off here. Yes, we don't have to hear the fucking squeaking. <laughs> I'm running out of power. I'm trying to centrifuge some stuff to see what I get, basically. Uh, or get some glow dust and, and stuff like that. Uh, but so, uh, I finished one of uh, the new turbines and uh, uh, it seemed like the shape I actually gave it uh, hindered it. Uh, so if we remove these, we can see that it actually is an entire square. Uh, let's see, four, no, five by five actually. And then I just add uh, these little corners right here. Yes, so it's gonna look a little bit nicer, and also so I can kind of walk there. And uh, that's kind of the thoughts uh, with that. And it gives. Uh, now we can't really see it because it's sending the power here, but it gives about I would say. 250 power per 10 seconds, so about uh, 2.5, 2.6 power per second, or 2.6 uh, uh, Minecraft joules, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> uh, so, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Uh, I, I, I did a little bit of testing, it didn't seem to matter actually if they are touching each other or not. Uh, uh, all that matters is that there's water on all three sides. The more sides that are covered with water, the better. So I think if you would, for example, not do it like this with one cable in the middle, but just have one at a time uh, connected to a box, for example. I can show you guys. Um, let's see. I think we can place it like this, actually. And have the power come from over here. Mm, see, I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to make you guys understand what I mean with this, but basically uh, I'm gonna need some water, more water I think as well, but basically like this, uh, because then you're gonna have water on four sides. There we go. Oh no, did I pick it up? Yeah, I pick it, picked it up. There we go. And that gives you water on all four sides of it. I think you would actually get a bit more uh, bang for your buck, so to say, if you would do that. Uh, so I'm planning on trying to do that uh, on on a bigger scale uh, instead. But I think the, the design I did first right here is pretty good as well, because it, it's pretty compact. Uh, you, you can make them 8x8. Uh, I, I don't think you can actually get any more. We can actually try putting on some more here and see if it changes. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut the cable though so we don't lose power. Uh, so we can calculate it a little bit here. Let's wait until it's 100. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. Okay, maybe I do get more power. Oh my god, maybe I was wrong there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting more power actually. Uh, that is kind of strange. Wait a second, I'm gonna get up here again. Uh, wait for 900. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1003, 5, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. Okay, so I'm getting about 3.2 out of these uh, uh, 12 now instead. So that's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good result actually. That is not half bad. That means that, okay, 3.2. Oh uh, yeah, maybe I get 3.3. So that that I would actually make up for it because if I'm getting 2.6, that means that with four I should get 
three extra. So, and it looks like I am getting one point three extra. I hooked it up here, so all the power goes here now. Uh, but uh, yeah, that that seems to be working actually pretty fine. So, uh, we're gonna do one more here. We're actually gonna do it right next to here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. I'm hoping I won't like get. Oh no, I, I'm actually getting out. S no, wait, I actually only need four since I already got the water over here, so I don't need five that direction, so that's pretty awesome. I also need one less water, so that's pretty good. Let's actually get our get our shovel out here <laughs> so, it's so it goes a little bit quicker, so we don't have to muck about with this like all day long. That would be kind of boring to watch, I would presume, uh, but we want to... Let's see, you know, we want to actually stop this right here and we want to add some stone right there and I'm thinking basically expanding this later on maybe because they're, they're reasonably cheap to make and there's not much intricate um, components in making the water ones uh, but the, the problem kind of starts when you're when you're mucking about with more advanced stuff because then you also need more advanced machines to make them and so on and so on and also this goes on forever you know maintenance is required you basically just reap the benefit of the power so it's pretty goddamn awesome that way so uh let's see where are we supposed to start now we're supposed to start here right yeah yes we are uh so get up there put down the first power coil and then put down I think I have to put down one more actually, and I'm using the the tin cable, the the ultra low current uh, thingy, uh, because it has the least resistance. Oh god, okay, I'm stuck on something as usual. <laughs> Stupid stuff. God damn it. Uh, add this other one. Let's add two more on each. What the fuck happened? That is some weird lag right there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Okie dokie. So we already got power over there. And I'm thinking sh maybe I should send the power actually straight into this bat box. Yeah. I think so. Why not? There we go. Uh, so I don't have to waste bat boxes for no good reason. And now all I should be have to do is add water on both of those sides. Uh, I need one more water though. There we go, and add one there, because this one already gets the water from that one, so I also need less water, not that, oh no, okay, I guess I had not placed it, uh, let's jump up here and look, oh damn it, come on now, don't be like that, yeah, I hadn't placed it, I guess, <laughs> stupid stuff, okay, and why is there still water here, oh god, the block lag is horrible, Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, and I think we're gonna do this like so. We're gonna actually put the cable up in the roof so I can actually have easy access to this stuff. Uh, and don't have to muck about a lot. I think we're gonna draw it up here. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. That light is kind of in the way, but we can just draw it like this. It doesn't look awesome in any way, I know, but this is what we have to work with, <laughs> or not what we have to work with, but I, th I think this is the, the best possible solutions and stuff like that for, for the least amount of, of trouble and so on and s oh no wait, we're missing water here, that's the problem right there, <laughs> that's the problem right there, there we go, I actually made it over, awesome, and I have just enough stone. So, if we then check this guy, it is, oh, I didn't have, okay, 1001, 1002, 1003, no wait, it's getting power from this one as well, yeah, uh, we, we gotta break this of course first, and it might be getting power from the sun as well, let's cut it off completely, so we can see, 1001, no, I think I started a bit too early there, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, yep, uh, basically 3.3, .3. so that is, that is pretty nice, that is pretty nice indeed, uh, Misa likey, Misa likey very much, um, I'm wondering if I maybe, yeah, I'm gonna do that, 
just so I can get easy access. Th this is still gonna kind of be be concealed if you guys get my drift, uh, but I still want it to look like decent, decently good, reasonably good. So let's remove that, 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 and that. And let's shock on a half slab so we can easily just walk over here without any big problems. And let's do the same over here as well. So, because I'm gonna be mocking about with the, uh, with the pa sun p solar panels actually. So let's see, the water, yeah, the water should be going everywhere now. Really good. This thing is charging up like crazy. And is this finished? Or is it not getting any power? Oh yeah, I cut it up up there. You're gonna see it, it just devours the power even though I actually have all of these water mills connected. You see it just drops super quickly because it's been uh, industrial uh, centrifuge. I think it uses up like 200,000 power most of it for some of the things. 250,000 power is the most it can use up for for one single, uh, one single use. <laughs> so it uses up all the power I have pretty much instantaneously, so this is not going to actually get me anywhere to be honest, oh god, lag again you see, only not even half is done and we're basically out of power now <laughs> so that kinda sucks, but I mean uh, I'm, I'm getting at least free power now, pretty decent amount of it thanks to the solar panel as well but, so, we got the power situation kind of fixed now, so now I'm thinking, I'm gonna be right back guys, when I figure out what we're gonna do. Okay guys, welcome back, I've just done a few changes and figured out what we're supposed to do next. Oh wait, the heck? There we go. I think it blew up. Yeah, it was low current afterwards, yeah, that, that was what make it, made it blow up. Because it can't handle the output of the bat box, but it can handle the input from the, the water stuff. Uh, but yeah, I uh, added a bat box for everything. I uh, added a bat box for the generators uh, when I need extra power, so nothing goes to waste, so it actually gets used up straight away. Uh, used an extra bat box for this water. Uh, one for this water, one for the solar cells, and then we have this bat box that kind of converges everything, and then I can actually empty that all into uh, the MFE uh, cell to power up weapons and other kinds of things inside. I won't actually use this to power any of the equipment, because the power the bat box gives out is w more than enough to actually power my centrifuge and other things but I'm gonna basically get you guys to where you build a centrifuge because you basically need a centrifuge to actually build solar panels and that's kind of the next step and uh, the two things you kind of need is this guy right here the rolling machine uh, this thing here that's a little bit a uh, little um, redstone engine, but it's actually better to make this the hobbyist steam engine because it produces a lot more power and you don't have to screw around as much. And we're also gonna make the compressor. Uh, so basically all of these things to make the solar panels. And um, I think we have to make this as well. Thermonic fabricator. But we're gonna start uh, basically at the beginning uh, and make the, the roller. The, oh, not the hobbyist steam, but the roller. Uh, so we're gonna check that out. Dun, 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 dun. Roller. And here we go. Uh, the roller is very, very simple. You, you get uh, your iron ingots, get some pistons, and a crafting table. So that's very, very simple. So if you got the mod yourself, uh, I'm not gonna craft it because I don't need a second one, to be honest. This is very quick and you don't need it that much. You might need it more in the future, but then you just make another one. Uh, the hobbyist uh, steam engine, you're gonna need to power it. So just hold. Hobby, there we go. And you need gold plated gears, uh, pistons, glass, and gold nuggets. This one I actually need another one of, and it also is a bit more in, in It's not super hard to make, but it needs a few more parts. Uh, so we're actually gonna make that one. So first you need the wooden gears. So we're gonna make two of those. I'm gonna actually remove that, because I think I can remember how to do it uh, in my mind. And then you want to put the wooden gears in there. And you want to make those into two stone... Oh, wait. Huh. 
That's weird. I thought I placed two, two of each, but maybe I didn't. So we got the stone gears right there. Then we want some golden nuggets. I already have some because I've been using my centrifuge. Uh, and you make the wheels like so. And pistons and so on, I think most of you guys know how to make anyways, but I'm still gonna need a little bit of redstone, I believe. Uh, do, 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 yeah, I got wood. I don't know if you actually can craft a piston with this wood. Yeah, you actually can. That's awesome. And then you just place it all in. Uh, wood in the top, glass in the middle, piston, and then to... Oh, uh, maybe that's not how you made it? Hobby. Oh no, it was the gold nuggets on top. Ah, I'm stupid, oh. So gold nuggets on the top, piston, glass, and the two golden gears, and we got ourselves a hobbyist. Uh, and all you do is just place it next to the thing, and then you place a redstone torch. You're gonna power this one, and you put in coal. Let's see if I, I think, think I do get a little bit of coal. There we go. Uh, is there someone who needs a little bit of help? Hi all, Hopper. Crap, sorry. What? <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about. And then you just fill it up with uh, some water. There we go. And I think this redstone torch is powering this little thingy. Uh, I'm using that just because I have it and this one is going to power this one. Or... No, I think it doesn't have enough steam pressure actually. That Yeah, exactly. Now it starts moving when the steam actually kind of goes upwards. There we go, so I think I only need one torch actually. Yeah, there we go. And that builds up power inside this guy. And with that we can make some alloys. But we're gonna make those later on. Uh, we can actually take a look at the... Uh, let's see now... Industrial... Furn... No, not industrial furnace. We want the industrial centrifuge. And it's pretty incredible. Uh, the best way of making it is I think we, we since you see there they change a lot with the advanced uh, circuit because it's pretty simple all you get is a normal circuit and you add some uh, redstone glowstone dust and lapis lazuli that's very very simple I think most of you guys can do that uh, but the other things like the advanced machine block that's why we need the roller so we want the advanced alloy and to do that we ne need mixed metal and <laughs> to make that we go here we want to get some copper. Let's me, let me actually remove this so we can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, and we want some tin, and we also want some refined.